Hey guys, we have this 2020 Jeep Gladiator here and we've got a bunch of communication faults, like a whole pile of them, 114 faults, goes on forever. And it's all lost communication stuff. So in this vehicle and most modern vehicles now, each module controls certain thing, like you have your engine control module, transmission control module, uh, steering control module, the radio is a control module. All these com control modules are connected to each other in the Chrysler models through a star connector, which is on the other side here. It's like a little green bar, I'll show you. And uh, if there's an electrical issue, like one of those communication lines gets shorted out, shorted to ground, it takes down the whole network. So those modules send electrical signals to each other and they talk to each other in code. And if the wire breaks, then that module is offline. It can't talk to any of the other modules and it'll set vault codes and do funny things. But in rare cases, which I've had before, uh, Chrysler is very known for it. The wire will rub through onto the chassis somewhere or somewhere to ground and um, it shorts out the entire network and none of the modules can talk to each other. The whole network is shorted to ground and it's crashed. So nobody can talk to each other and basically everything goes haywire. You go into a default safety situation where the wipers come on because you never know, it could be raining. So it just defaults to the wipers going on full tilt. Rad fan will come on full blast. Your defrost will come on heat full blast in case it's the winter time. You get all kinds of messages coming up on the dash. You know, this is unavailable, that's unavailable. Service this, service that. Uh, the customer was saying that uh, he wasn't able to move the gear shifter. It was like locked and he couldn't shut the vehicle off. There was nothing he could do. He was just sitting there running for about an hour before he got it to finally shut off. So in this case, the first thing you got to do is have the vehicle uh, it basically uh, messing up. It needs to have the problem present. And then you go over to the star connector, which I'll show you, it's on the passenger side. So this is Chrysler's star connector. This is the connector, it's basically a hub where each one of these connectors is a module. And the message comes in through one connector and then it goes out to all of the other modules and then certain modules receive the message, but the message is intended for one or multiple modules. So, like I say, the, pre the problem needs to be present and then you just unplug these one at a time until the issue goes away. And that lets you know which circuit your fault is in. And then you have to chase that down. So we got quite a few modules I just did a quick print out of the wiring diagrams here. So like each one of these boxes is a module. We've got like comfort seat, um, HVAC module, radio, integrated center stack, the radio itself, uh, our security gateway module, driver assistance system, electronic shift control, transmission control, anti-lock brakes, automatic sway bar, Engine computer, the instrument cluster, power steering pump motor, occupant restraint control module, that's your airbag, steering column lock module, headlamp leveling module, your tail lights are on there, the RF hub, which is like your key buttons, uh, wireless frequency, uh, driver detection module, that's like in the seat, drivetrain control module for your transfer case and differentials and stuff, uh, park assist, tire pressure goes on and on there's a bunch of modules like I say so these things can be a headache if you don't know how to diagnose them but it's going to take me a little bit I need this uh, thing to act up and it will and then I'm going to go and unplug a bunch and I already did I started to unplug I got three of them unplugged now but the problem is it's intermittent so that eats up a lot of time because I need it to act up and it doesn't always act up so I need to basically wait and try to uh look around but yeah I did a visual inspection on this and, and uh, like I say it goes through the swamp and it gets used as a Jeep so the bottom was like covered in a bunch of mud 
all the wiring harnesses are covered in mud can't really see anything visually so but i guarantee you somewhere there will be a wire that's rubbed through and it'll be touching chassis ground somewhere and it's taking down the network so stay tuned we'll bring out a part two on where the issue is and what's going on with it all right so last night i went through a couple things on this and uh i've had issues with my security gateway module so i looked at the wiring diagrams went through everything and then i ended up tracing the wiring which is on this star connector you'll notice that it's a yellow with a green tracer and a white with a brown wire it's the one in the back there and that runs around to your security gateway module which is back here um, so that's this one back here and uh, and I found out that he has this uh, taser module in here the the plugs from the security gateway module plug into this thing you can change a bunch of settings and hook your scan tool up and it doesn't uh, affect anything like that you guys that have these jeeps with the security gateway module know that when you're trying to erase codes or change settings you can't get past the gateway module unless you have authorization from a paid company it's a pain in the ass so i plugged that back in and took that thing out of the equation and then the problem was immediately uh, consistent as you can see right now the problem persists and what i found was I was able to actually continue with the diagnosis as normal. And I'll show you how I do that. I'm gonna come over to your side. So wait, that security gateway module is stock? Yes. And you just take you take it out and then you can scan it? Well, no. Or then you can clear this it? This is an aftermarket piece. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, this thing, you can, I don't know if you can load different things into it, but it allows you to change different settings and uh, do a bunch of, bunch of customizable things but it also removes the security gateway function out of the Jeep so that you can then access it with a scan tool and when, do a bunch of stuff that you normally couldn't do without um, authorized right. When that's plugged access. in, you can do that. When you add that into the vehicle. Right. Nice. So um, now I can go through and unplug one by one to see. But before I do that, let me just show you what you want to be looking for. You're gonna need a multimeter and our each one of these wires so you'll notice every plug has two wires except for this one that has three but forget about that that's just a branch wire that runs to another star connector in the back it links them together but all of the other ones that have two wires those are your communication lines each one of these are a module so they all go to their individual modules and this is like the network where modules send information it gets to this connector and then it gets sent out to every other module and there's a certain module or a couple modules that are looking to receive that message and that's how it talks it talks over those wires but when there's a disruption in the circuit or a wire gets shorted to ground or shorted to positive um, it messes up the whole network and nothing can talk to each other so it goes into a fail safe mode like this where it just uh turns the wipers on you can hear like a vacuum pump running all that stuff so if i just probe this you can see that i've got roughly 6.8 volts now our can high and can low wires that's the two wires in each plug we've got can high and can low both of those wires the voltages need to add up to five volts now normally with the vehicle just idle key off should be 2.5 volts 2.5 volts vehicle running you're going to be like 2.3 2.7 2.4 2.6 and so on and so forth so it needs to add up to five volts well right off the bat we can see can high we've got pretty much seven volts now and low 5.3 volts so we're really high that shouldn't be that high so what you do what you do is go through and uh, unplug each one of these connectors one at a time. And I found that unplugging this one gets everything to stop. And the wire that I had issues with was a yellow and a yellow with a brown tracer. 
and that's our power steering pump motor. This uh, Gladiator actually runs electric power steering, but it's sort of a hybrid power steering system, and I'll show you in a minute.